Good evening, my name is Jemima Biakas, your host for this evening's edition of the Evening Review. Now, a century after the brutal genocide of the Nama people by Imperial German forces, descendants have regrouped and reclaimed their ancestry despite having been displaced and scattered all over Southern Africa. One such activity is the annual Nama Festival, which has grown in leaps and bounds and is now a common feature on the Namibian, South African and Botswana calendars. We are speaking to Nicodemus Kuiper from Botswana to talk to us about the fifth annual Nama Festival, cultural festival in Botswana. Thank you for joining us, Nicodemus. Thank you so much and uh, greetings to everyone. Thank you for joining us once again. Um, we've met at the uh, funeral of the late uh, uh, Gab Cooper last, um, uh, last month. Um, and um, the, the topic there was also the uh, um, reclaiming ancestry and history after this brutal genocide, obviously. So could you just give us a background of this Nama festival, the cultural festival, um, how it is began in Botswana in particular, and when, when it will be hosted this year? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, as introduced, I'm Nicodemus Cooper from Botswana. I'm the descendant, of course, of the Nama uh, who uh, fled Namib from 1905 uh, from Namibia, Botswana. And of, of but, uh, a long period of over 100 years, we have been, you know, silent. We we didn't know uh, uh, where to start. But uh, as people say, uh, uh, over 100 years later, and uh, we started having inquisitive people, or uh, even some Namibians visiting. Of course, Cooper was known, and people wanted to know where he was or where he's been because records are covered and indication that uh, he had Botswana and he must be somewhere in Botswana. So in that regard, uh, in 2011, uh, his a grave that has been kept as a secret for a long time based on his wishes uh, that apparently died, he said he did not want his grave disclosed to a but and all of us know that that person he was referring to Germans because of the obvious uh, differences that they had for a long time. But you know, time had come uh, that we needed to disclose that. We needed people to know where we are and we couldn't have told people who we are or who we are without having to disclose who Simon Cooper is. And that was actually the beginning of bigger things paving way for what it is today. And in 2011, his stone was unveiled, and that the work that was uh, collaborated uh, with the Namibian Namas, Botswana, and of course the government, specifically the National Museum Department. Simon Cooper was honored uh, with that grave, with with the stone that was unveiled then. And a year later, his dad uh, was recognized as a as a event. For us, I think that was creation. That was the beginning of what we see today. But you see, we needed to now visit our counterparts, the Namibians in, in Namibia. We needed to do the groundwork. We needed to beef up, uh, you know, researchers, you know, to ask more, to dig, dig in more, to locate our people, especially where Simon Cooper fled from, uh, which is Ojas in Namibia and Harda region. And we were successful. That is why in 2016, then we decided uh, we, we may have found information for us, to, you know, looking at that we have over time lost our We have all lost our culture because we we are a minority group in, in Botswana now. That means we are fewer in numbers. Therefore, Arabs 
who we with number us in all aspects, having to influence now our language and our culture. And we were worried that if we do not do anything about it, and, uh, then we would have done injustice to us as the Nama people and also done injustice if we ever respected, you know, or honored what Simon Cooper and his uh, uh, colleagues did back then. Uh, that is, that was the birth of a, a Nama Cultural Festival in, in a nutshell from 2016. So can you tell us um, where will this, uh, this year's festival be um, hosted? And for how long will it be? And also perhaps a breakdown of what the program would look like. The festival is uh, on the 26th and 27th of August in Lokwabe uh, village. Uh, that is where uh, the Nama people, you know, fled to uh, from 1905. And actually that is where Simon Kuba is also buried. And uh, the, the progress, or rather to start with who we invited, because this time, five years of hosting this event, and it's important for us to reflect how far we've come, what is, this, what is it that we need to write, and is it that we need to do more. Uh, we have created good within our counterpart of African uh, uh, Nama descendants who have also lost language just like we are. But I want to mention this, that um, in Pella, that is where Sipa was actually born. Just like it is known that Hendrik Vedboy was also born in there. So you can see the connection that uh, we have something very special regions in Northern Cape, Karas um, region, Hardap region, and of course, Kalaka district in Botswana. So through our festivals, which we have managed to host over time, its challenges. It is clear that we use our heritage to actually ignite heritageism in our region. We can have this is me driven Pella to Lokwabe trade, just like somebody who dreamed uh, 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 from Cape to Cairo concept. We can do it ourselves. Of course, uh, looking up at our shared shared history, and to your question with regards uh, the programs, we invited uh, um, what we call uh, local authorities from these different deliberately and strategically. So we want experts and the event organizers, and of course community members uh, specifically to understand what is it, what they can actually benefit from heritage. If all of us, wherever we are, can look deeper into what we can benefit of celebrating our culture so that we can, we can sell our idea and make people tourists, we can make our vision and an opportunity or a place that can be visited by a just to come and feed on what we can offer from the Nama attire, from our language, from the sites that uh, are now recognized both in Namibia uh, and South Africa. So uh, the idea is that the, 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 the locals may meet and meet and greet, and of course explore possibilities of agreements or tripartite agreements whichever the case may be, around language restoration, uh, cultural revival, and of course, heritage tourism, like I've already alluded. Of course, there will be a lot of uh, performing arts, dressed up and uh, polka dances, will be uh, Tswana fusion as well, Tswana traditional dances, so that, uh, you know, we took case uh, that that, that we may be Namas, but with other with other natives as well. So it is important that our festival creates a platform 
for those as well so that we can change our our culture now uh, Nicodemus, um the former Botswana president Ian Kama has always been, he was like a permanent feature at the Botswana Cultural Nama Festival. Um, are you going to invite the current, the sitting president as well? Um, is uh, President um, Ian Kama going to be like an honorary guest at this event? Well, uh, the former president Ian Kama has not attended our festival before. In fact, the incumbent president, the sitting president now, attended our festival in 2017 as the vice president. He was the guest speaker at the time. Our wish has always been that he attends our event uh, as, as the guest speaker, uh, now that he's the president. But as you, you'd, you'd understand uh, the of presidency, it's it's unpredictable he gets more busier so but it's not about him if he attends it will be great but we will have uh, ministers ministers uh, minister we have the three on whom we wish they could attend of course uh, none of them has not confirmed as yet but the invitations have been sent out and we wish for a positive response uh, to a great place Okay, before we go further, let's go for a five minute break. Welcome back. Now we are speaking to Nicodemus Kuppert from Botswana who is talking to us about the 5th annual Nama Cultural Festival that will take place later this month in Botswana. Now um, Nicodemus, um, before we went on a break, um, um, the festival, we talked about uh, the, the festival and um, the fact that it is now spilled over to Namibia and South Africa and, that, and, the, and the fact that it is aimed at reclaiming um, the Nama heritage. Now, how has this um, festival in particular influenced the, um, the Nama people in Botswana? Um, meaning, um, what do they know about their history and how has this festival changed their perception of uh, their identity? Well, I think it has it has brought a sense of pride in the in the Nama in Botswana, uh, uh, more and more confidence about about who they are is coming, and it's it's clearly visible. Hence, it is reflective from the four past events that uh, it is a collective effort of the Nama people having realized that nobody will come and do anything for them. Therefore, it is very important that they stand up and showcase their culture and help people who they are uh, so that uh, we can also influence policies that are there in our country. Uh, specifically, when you talk about the question of Botswana, you, you, you can never find Nama people or current, currently as it is, there is no mention my people in the constitution but because of what we we have done last or we are as a case our 
questions and also showcasing our work. And conveniently so that uh, constitutional review going on, uh, it is more likely that uh, with the efforts that we have uh, already, uh, maybe our name as not people will find recognized in the constitution of Botswana. So that is a big uh, achievement if it ever comes to that level. So this is really, uh, because of the efforts or the little efforts that we started uh, from, from 2016 or rather from 2011 uh, when Simon Cooper's tombstone uh, was unveiled. Of course, we understand there is a lot that needs to be go, uh, need to be done forward, and we're looking forward uh, to. Now, um, you just mentioned that um, um, with these efforts, you are poten in the potential position to influence policies. Now, um, apart from the cultural festival, what other activities are you as organized? organizers um, uh, do, um, I mean offering or organizing to raise more awareness around the history of the Nama people, in particular the genocide and the displacement of Nama people. One other activity uh, that we are currently embarking on is a research expedition. Uh, uh, solely because we, we want to identify uh, what is recorded in our archives, and of course, what is currently being said early, uh, by the elders who, of course, inherited na narrative from those who were before them, to locate the battlefield inside what is now Kalakadi Frontier Park in Botswana, specifically. Uh, happening 16th of May in 1908. So, so what we say is that the Germans choose trooper actually followed Nama people into Botswana in 1908 and there was a battle to the specific date that I just shared, the 16th of May 1908. And in that battle, uh, not less than 58 uh, people were shot dead and some people, including Simon Cooper's wife, were captured and uh, took back to Namibia. At least uh, uh, German soldiers were killed, and the records show that they were buried in the periphery of where the battle was. So this research expedition, the objective is to locate that place so that we can preserve that place because it has a significant um, heritage for us. If we locate that place, we will request our government to, rec to recognize it as a, as a heritage site so that it is preserved. And if we happen to come across the remains of, of who uh, unfortunately lost their lives there, they will be the very a defeating burial, a dead one. Uh, that is our wish. And all these things or all these efforts feed on our envisaged dream of having a heritage trade, or rather, uh, as far as you know, influence, influencing or igniting heritage, heritage tourism like we are preaching now. Those are just uh, some of the many, you know, ambitious projects that we are trying to embark on and of course these projects uh, need a lot of money and we don't which we don't have but uh, we will continue to make relationship with uh, and of course to sell our idea how, how much more people we will have on board or, or stakeholders to achieve this now um, in conclusion um, speaking about um, the battle at, uh, um, at uh, we've, you've just pointed out that took place where the, uh, the uh, Schutztruppe followed the Nama people into Botswana. Um, we cannot have a, um, a conversation 
about the Nama Cultural Festival without touching on genocide. So can you tell us what is the sentiment in Botswana amongst the Nama people, the, the descendants there, about genocide with regards to the reparation talks and um, the uh, negotiations betwe between the Namibian government and the uh, German government? We are seeing a challenge with our government in that regard because there are possibilities that uh, genocide has not happened in both. And uh, that we differ. Uh, even though we have uh, uh, revealed about the, the archives, which are in public dom domain for everyone, it seems the uh, government is not, uh, uh, is not convinced enough. But we have recognized in the, 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 the Botswana government, we have engaged them, we have told them about what uh, happened and the reason why you find Nama people in Botswana. I think uh, the, the committee assigned to, to follow up this issue uh, will very soon meet with, of course, our Herero counterparts to pay the way forward, having uh, received uh, uh, an answer from government that they don't believe genocide happened here and not convinced with what we can offer in terms of what is in public. Therefore, it gives us an opportunity to seek uh, a remedy elsewhere. So that's where we are with, with government here. Of course, genocide, uh, genocide case and what the German government is intending to do with is trying to, to reach out to, to the Namibians or the Namas and in Namibia. We are affected by that as well. We are in Botswana just because of that genocide. Had the genocide not happened, uh, obviously we wouldn't have been in, in Botswana. That, and that is a fact. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for making the time to talk to us, Nicodemus. Please have a good night. Thank you very much and uh, all the best. I hope to see you in the festival as well. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. Good evening.